Okay guys, so I just want to say first, as I said in my last video, you have seen this shirt because I'm, I recorded two videos today. So, um, yeah, anyways, this video, as you can see from the title, is similar to my last video, but it is, um, my experience on getting my first tattoo at 16 years old. Um, so yeah. My first tattoo was a Rolling Stones tongue, you know, tattoo. You know what I'm talking about, the little, uh, <laughs> simple and it's like red rolling stone it's that with a tongue piercing i will show you guys but i just showed you guys in my last video which you should have seen so i will leave it up there so you can see it but um my video right now is more so going in depth on my experience sorry i gotta bring you guys closer not that cool okay my experience on getting such tattoo so basically i was in high school i forgot how old i was when i was i, mean, I forgot how old i was when i was 16. wow i forgot what grade i was in when i was 16. but obviously high school um i wanted a tattoo so yeah and i will say i went behind my mom's back and got it done she didn't know i got it done so that is another reason why it is in such place because um yeah i had to hide it don't be like me guys <laughs> don't be like me but um yeah i wanted a tattoo really bad she didn't want me to get a tattoo so i was like okay well this is what i'm gonna do <laughs> um but yeah so i got that tattoo i was trying to figure out what tattoo i even wanted like i didn't even know what i wanted i did not want a tattoo um so yeah i was like looking up little stuff on google and stuff you know and I think that's when I found that and I thought it was cute and then um I don't even remember if I found I was like you know I was I don't think I found the one with the tongue ring and I think I just wanted it but I remember I was like I wanted one with the tongue rings so I looked that up to see if I could find one and then I found one so yeah that's the image that I had gave the you know tattoo artist to do excuse me um so yeah, that's how that went about. And then I was trying to decide if I wanted color or not, but then I was like, yeah, I kind of had to get it red because it's supposed to be red, you know. So yeah, I um did that. I went and got it done, I think one day after school. But you know, we get out of school early when you're in high school, you get out like at two, I think. Two, oh my gosh, two or 2.30 or something like that. So yeah, I went after school and um, Yes, I obviously had a car. I got my car when I was 15. So I had a car, obviously. But yes, yeah, so I went out to school to get it done. And then, um, yes, yeah, so I'm like just chilling, you know, laid back. And I'm like nervous, obviously. Uh, my friend had went with me or whatever, my best friend at the time. She had went with me to get it done. And um, yeah, I was just like asking everybody like, how was the experience so I can know what to expect and basically everyone told me like well some people told me it was gonna hurt some people told me it wasn't gonna hurt um but then yeah when I got there I asked like the tattoo artist and then he was like it's gonna hurt <laughs> and then I was like oh, like one day and then yeah like um like the person that was there with him was like yeah you're getting like where are you getting and i told her and then she was like yeah that area is pretty sensitive like it's probably gonna hurt a little and i was like oh my gosh so i was like freaking out then and i was trying to think if i need to like change the placement or whatever i was like oh my gosh and then she was like trying to it helped me like think of how it was gonna feel and she was like it's basically like a bee sting like but like multiple times like on you and I was like, i never been stung by a bee, so I don't know what that feels like. And she was like, oh, well, I don't know what else to say. And I was like, oh, my God, okay. So it's not helping at all. Like, no one's helping me. So, yeah, he, like, started. And um, cause I was like, okay, let's just get this over with. So he started, and then, like, obviously he has to, like, do the line work first. So he was, like, doing it slow so I can, like, see how it feel. Like, he would, he would like, start, like, drawing slow, basically. And then, um... Yeah, and I was like, okay, like, this isn't so bad. And he just kept going. And I was like, oh, okay, like, this isn't bad at all. So I was good. 
Um, I was still kind of nervous about the shading, like the coloring parts. I was like, well, how is that going to feel? Um, but yeah, so like the line work was good and everything. And then when you got to the coloring part, obviously you feel it a little bit more because like the needle is different. Um, so that part I have felt, like it didn't hurt still, but I felt it more and I was just like, oh, okay, like <laughs> I get it. But yeah, it wasn't bad. And then when I was done, I was like super excited so happy um and then yeah like where i got it it's covered it was covered up by like my pants or shirt or whatever so no one knew i had it unless i told them so um yeah there's that but um yeah that was actually pretty short but that was my experience on getting my first tattoo when i was 16 years old um Oh yeah, and if someone is going to be asking like, oh, well, how did you get a tattoo when you were 16 if your mom didn't even know, like, don't you have to consent, blah, 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 blah. Um, I didn't go to a tattoo shop. I went to a, well, not like a, you know what I mean, like a big tattoo shop or whatever. Like, I went to um, this guy I knew that did tattoos. So, um, yeah, he was cool. And, yeah, I didn't have to, I didn't need all that, basically. Um, yes, he was clean, blah, 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 everything was sanitized, new needle, all the stuff I'm trying to think that someone is going to ask, but yes, everything was clean, I never had any infections or whatever, diseases, whatever you want to call it with none of my tattoos, so, um, yeah, it doesn't matter where I got them or anything or when I got them, um, just want to throw that out there. As long as the person is clean and their stuff is clean, then it doesn't matter if it's in their house, their basement, in their tattoo shop like it doesn't it don't matter like you know what i mean okay so don't be stereotyping but anyways yes oh yeah let me do one more thing before i um forget that um how much it was because someone asked me that i don't exactly remember but i believe it was thirty dollars i believe if i can think right i think it was thirty dollars could have been forty but I would say 30 because I feel it was 30 but yeah, 30 to 40 dollars is how much it cost um so yeah that was the end of my story time on my first tattoo and um yeah if you guys want any more videos as like in this category let me know but yeah that's the end of this video so make sure you like comment and subscribe and don't forget, I love you guys. <laughs>